Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to a disaster in the making. We're fighting two wars, a little one up here that we are winning um, for this little territory, and then the Byzantine Empire recently declared war on us. And we are in trouble. Major trouble. Because they have over 30,000 troops, the most we can muster is almost 30,000, so that's closer than I thought. That's good news. The problem is, if you look at his military advancements, they're at 18. Oh, we're at 18. Oh, that's not bad. More of his other territories are going to be better than ours, though. So they might have better trained troops. The big problem we have, though, is the most we can muster in this area are about 15,000 right now, because our empire is huge! And they have to march a long ways to get there. Which doesn't seem so bad when you see this army coming across. But that means there's going to be another army coming across of almost the same size. So even if we do win here in Sofia, we're going to be fucked. So um, we're going to grab as many of these guys as we can. And... We need to find... We need to retreat. Let's see, is there a river from there to Belgrade? Yes. Alright, because we, we need to get as many troops as we can there, and we need to just keep retreating from them. The reason I want to do that, and I don't really want to do that, it's just we can't lose this war. The Byzantine Empire is trying to take these four territories. These are four of Horse Baby Boy's personal domains. Three of those we conquered in his lifetime, trying to build that as our strong base. We can't just surrender, because if we do, well, we could surrender, but then it would be horrible. If we lose that territory, um, we're going to lose most of the troops we can raise, and then the empire will crumble. It's kind of like the Byzantine Empire is trying to chop the head off of the Carpathian Empire snake, us being the snake, because that would take away almost all of the power of Horse Baby Boy. So even though he'd still be emperor of the Carpathian Empire, as soon as there was a revolt, and there would almost be for sure one right away, someone to challenge your power, we wouldn't have hardly any troops to fight it. So we're going to retreat, retreat all our troops here. We're going to let them siege this area if they want. If they don't want to, they're going to have to march across here, deal with attrition, as we try and get all of our army merged together so we can actually fight them. So much of our army's got a long ways to march, though. Not to mention the fact that our um, retinue up there, with a few of our troops, um, are kind of stuck in the other war. Oh, shit. They're going to niche? God dang it. Alright, what are our other choices? How do we get away? I mean, we can get the rest of these troops moved up there. <laughs> Shit, that's not going to help us. You guys are going to be out there on the 22nd. They're going to be on there on June 4th. So you guys can escape. The problem here is our main army. What if we just take a risk and go right into Byzantine territory? That is a major risk. You can see they're dying of attrition there. All right, everybody, march, march, march. Oh, man, how in the world? There's no way we're going to get 15,000 troops saved up here in time. <laughs> I like how we have a big army here that is desperately going to march into the middle of Byzantine territory to try and avoid that army. The one nice thing there, though, you can see the attrition, their army numbers are dropping. So we're going to pause just one quick moment. How is this war going? We are so close to taking the castle. Oh, but we still won't have one yet. You guys, you got to march fast. Got to form as big of an army here as we can. Man, I don't even know if we'll have a big enough army there. Might have to keep marching them away. 
All right, if they want to siege that area, we can live with that. Oh, shit! I think they're going to try and come after our army here. I don't like that. <laughs> march, boys, march! Run like you've never ran before. While we're doing that, we're going to have these guys all join together. I would love to move into them all into Belgrade, but I'm a little worried. Fortunately, our armies are all split up. As obviously, they're going to try and um, join their armies together right there. Ooh, we might have a chance to hit one of their armies. Let's see, you're going to Mesembria. Ooh, they're getting hit by attrition right there, too. They are chasing us, though. I don't like that. We might have to like, try and run up this way. Victory! Excellent! We are at 81% war score. We have sieged the castle here. Uh, once we take the city, we should be good, I hope. I don't know that we're going to, but... Oh, apparently there's some rebellions here. Let's go take a look at England. England's continuing to grow. Ireland's reformed. By reform, I mean they put down the revolution. I hear they say they want some revolution. You know. Hey, right, come on, guys. We're marching like mad to try and avoid that army. We kind of want them to land right there, almost behind us. The war isn't going quite as I thought. I lose more men per battle than I planned in the sieges. The sieges is going on forever. Should be our More manpower and more siege weapons is what I need. Perhaps a friend could assist me. Well, we could ask him to join the war. Or we could ask him to give us some money. We're going to ask him for money. Shaman Bertolion, you're our closest friend. And you're going to die before too long because you're getting old. How about you give me some money? The one nice thing, too, is... The Byzantine Empire is losing people due to attrition into going into our homelands. And they are still, for some reason, going there. I have no problems with that. Your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed by the shaman Kulin the Badass. Among others, this quite impressed him. Good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's this guy going? Tirnovo? Be there on the 6th. We are not going to risk that. We're going to go up through Bulgaria. No, we're going to go right there through Bulgaria. Um, we need to get these guys merged. Move them to Belgrade. We've got to try and find a way to get our two armies to... Mer oh, shit. There's a 10,000-man army there. You know what, guys? You all go here in Pex, where there's a major river to protect you. And then we're going to march these guys. Oops, my letter to Bertolan could have gotten lost in any number of ways. And truthfully, sometimes I wish it would. The shame of having to ask a friend for help. Oh, he joined my war. Did I ask him to do that? I thought I asked for money. I might have fucked it up. All right, we're going to try and march around that way. All right, they're going to try and siege there. I don't like that. There's not a hell of a lot we can do about it right now. Especially when they, they're bringing in another 10,000 guys. Come on, we've got to finish that war in the north. At least the war in the north will be done pretty soon. Alright, they're sieging two of our territories. That is horrible for us. Because they could siege those areas and win. Oh, they are, they're going all out and attacking. Not even waiting. The only plus to that is they should lose a bunch of troops doing that. You know what? While we're at it... Here, move to Severin. You guys merge up. Now go to Box. Go to Belgrade. Go to Severin. Let's see if we can merge all of the troops right here. They still won't be enough. You see they're dying of attrition there. Hmm... He's trying to come across. We could get closer to us. He'll be in Dorksylvania on the 23rd of August. We will be out of turning a little bit after that. I don't want to be anywhere, though, where if we get engaged with him, they can bring up these reinforcements. All right, the rest of you dweebs. You all need to be going here. 
Including a little three-man army. At least more of their guys are dying of attrition. This is going to be the most close-fought war we have had in a while. <laughs> Come on, let's win this. We're close up here. Less than 24 days, we should hopefully have won that or be really close. We need to get those 6,000 guys down to the front, the southern front. All right, you want to siege that? Excellent. It's not really excellent, but what are you going to do? We are screwed. Oh, they're going to just attack it all out. Damn. Negative 16% war score for us. We're still trying to merge our armies. Come on, guys, hurry up. Luckily, there are a lot of guys there in the city. Oh, no, they're going after that, too. All right, we have 100% war score in the north. We have won that war. We're going to demand peace. Uh, we want, took a bunch of stuff there. All right, the castle here we're going to give to somebody. I don't care who. Um, the temple we're going to give to somebody. I don't care who. The city we're going to give to somebody. Shit. I thought I'd paused it. I don't care who. Um, eventually, we want to uh, give all this to... Uh, who do we want to give it to? We want to give it to a mayor so we can try and form a trade republic. But we don't have the money right now to create the duchy for that. All right, we're going to start to send our retinue down south. Man, that's got a long ways to march. You're going back to Tirnovo. Man, we're already at negative 40% war score. As we try and merge all of our army... <laughs> All of our army maybe can compete with one of their two armies. All right, we've got an 18,000 man army. I still think technologically they're probably more advanced than we are. Man, we need to get that retinue down here. And these other ones. Come on, boys. You know, actually, just go right through Thames. March right through Bulgaria. That should be faster. Holy crap, the Holy Roman M. Oh, that's the Italian army. Good. They're not allies with the Emperor here. Come on, retinue. March like the wind. March like your lives depend on it, because they do. How many troops does the Byzantine Empire have? They're down a little bit. People that they've lost, lost assaulting... They've killed our men. We're going to have to rebuild all of that. Oh, man, they're taking so much territory. That is a pain in the ass. All right, we got about... <clears throat> sorry about that. 20,000 or so. Yeah, I, I know. We are... We're, we're running a deficit now, but what else are we going to do? And we had just been, like, nicely in the... Black financially. We've been in really good financial shape. Oh, come on, retinue. How long is it going to take you guys? March! We need you guys desperately. Even with you, I don't know if we'll have enough troops. <clears throat> Man, negative 49% war score for us already. More of their guys are dying of attrition, though. That is good. They still outnumber us, though. They have 20... Almost 30,000 troops there. I don't know where this guy is going, but I like that he's dying of attrition. He's going to Do Dork Sylvania, but why? Why is he going to Dork Sylvania? You know what, Arnold? I love you. But we're putting someone else in charge of that flank. We need our best leaders in charge. Uh-oh. I think they're going to march across Turnin and attack us. Either that or they're going... Are they going to hit our allies there? They would get there on the 17th of December. 
Thank God for these allies here. There is a river between Turnin and that place where we are. Oh, no, there's not? There's one right here. How does that not show up on the thing? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, oh, wait, no, there is. Okay. And that's a major river, right? No, it's just a regular river. Well, that might be the best we can do defensively. I wish I could tell the these guys to come over here. Come on, Retinue, where are you guys? Take the straightest path possible, Retinue. Um, wow, our allies have got balls! Look, they're going right into the enemy territory. Well, our territory to retake it. I love this dude. What's his name? He's the chief of, um, or the king of the circle? Or high chief. High chief Savin's like, fuck that shit. I'm too old to give a fuck. We're going right into there. Fuck the Holy Roman, or the Byzantines. Well. Oh no, they're bringing these guys up as reinforcements? Do we stay here, or do we try and move up north? I think we're going to have to move no up north. They might catch us here. No, we would be out of Severin in time. Excellent. Let them chase us. Chase us, fools! No, actually, wait. Let them cross the major river. If they're going to go fight those guys there... We're taking a major risk. How close is the retinue? <laughs> They're never going to be there in time to reinforce. We are betting a lot on a major battle where the enemy has to cross a major river. I don't know if it's a good idea to fight them here. Because if the southern army comes up in time to reinforce them, we are fucked. Let's absolutely make sure we have our best leaders in charge. We've got our son Studlyson on the left flank, Morak in the center, and Bastu, the high priest, on the right. Oh, man. Yes! This might be good. Our allies are actually coming in to where our war is. All right, so they've had to cross a major river, so they get negatives to all their attacks, to their defenses. We are on the bottoms here. They're on the top. We actually have more archers than them for the archer phase. And we've got allies coming in as reinforcements. Oh man, it's actually working really well. That crossing the river was really tough on them. Man, we still are going to lose a lot of people. Come on, retinue, how close are you? Oh, you guys are still far, far away. Uh-oh. The other army of the Byzantine Empire, though is trying to come up and reinforce. We need to crush this army before they get across. Come on, our allies will be here any moment now. Come on, allies. Yeah, let's crush these guys. Oh, man. They, how much longer till these guys come in? These guys will be in Nicopolis in three days. Oh, man, yes! Come on, we, we gotta get at least a two-to-one advantage before they show up. They'll be here on the 7th of February. Oh, man, we've got to kill a ton of guys we got to break a flank or something oh we did holy shit our son studlyson is studly he broke the left flank come on retinue i can't believe we might actually win this battle we might actually win a war against the byzantines and the holy roman emperor back to back oh yeah the left flank totally crushed the right flank's getting crushed. It's going to become a rout. These guys will be here in two turns, the reinforcements. I almost want them to show up now, trying to defend an army that is getting crushed. There they are. They have unfortunately propped up the flanks, though. Oh, that's not good. Man, they have a very strong center now. The king of the Byzantine Empire is there. Oh, that is really bad for us. Oh, man, they're going to crush our center. That is not good. Where the hell are our damn reinforcements? Oh, come on, Retinue. You're never going to be there in time. I can't believe we're going to lose this battle that we were easily winning. We were crushing them. But I guess the Byzantine Emperor is super fucking good at fighting. Oh, we broke their flank, though. The holy man did it, Rastu. 
Bastu! He's like, that's not my name. My name's Bastu. Come on, Retinue, please. The Retinue will be here on the 2nd of March. It, they might be there too late. Come on, holy man! The power of Tangri compels you! Yes! Our son Stellison broke another flank! Hells yes! Suck on it, Byzantine Empire! Suck on it real hard! I want to capture their emperor. Oh man, Bastu the Holy Man and our son Studlyson, who I wanted to be emperor, but we won! Alright, we have got to pursue these guys. They are going to... Where is Sarko? No, Vidin, right? Yeah. We've got to chase them down. Well, we've got the opportunity. Man, I cannot believe we won that. For a moment there, I thought when their, the Emperor of the Byzantine Empire showed up that we were screwed. I mean, he was a, he almost broke our center. Well, he did. He broke our center. But then luckily, Studlison and Bastu won out. Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to have to continue the war. I do want to see, though, troop-wise, before we leave, um, the Byzantine Emperor, he's down to 8,000 troops. I know we lost a lot of guys, too. We are at 13,000, so technically, we've got more than him. We've still got to get the retinue down, but his troops are in disarray as they try and escape. They are escaping across a major river, though. That could be a problem. Well, that's the problem for next episode. Thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. That was so awesome winning that battle.